Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy and I'm joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life pets, Paige, Molly, Polly, and Milk Toast. Good job to Molly and Milk Toast who are out on the balcony. Hello guys, how are you doing today? Uh, bad job to Paige who's probably, nope, not in the kitchen. Paige and Polly, who are still in bed, these sleepy dogs, Paige, who's in my bed, uh, and Polly. Hi, guys. Oh, you know what? Do I use this chest for anything? Oh, I've got some stuff in it. I need a chest, so I'm just going to take this chest, and I could use these bookshelves. Well, uh, do I keep the bookshelves here, or do I take them over to the new public library? I can't decide. I think we'll keep them here. I don't want to leave all of my, uh, you know, my beautiful books. What am I saying? I don't want to not have books in my house. That's what I'm trying to say, Milk Toast. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look at the art gallery because we haven't been there in a while. And I would like to see some of the art we've received since the last few episodes. In the last few episodes, we've been building the new public library. Here's a picture of me as the librarian. Uh, and then here is a picture of us in fabulous back-to-school attire. And me, of course, reading a book to my cat, Milk Toast. I, this one made me laugh. It's the Enderman bringing me a dirt block to my house from a few episodes ago. And this is Everest rigging the dog decider. Look at Basil. Okay, I'm going to quickly come down and get a wolf and also get some supplies. We're going to be finishing up the library, well, as close as we can get it to finished. Obviously, it still needs a lot of books. Uh, now, do I have... I already have a minecart. I want one of these, but do I have any rails? Do I not have any rails? Oh, goodness. I don't even know if I remember how to make a rail in Minecraft. It's been a while. And I also wanted something else, too. What was it? Oh, signs, which I don't see either, but I'll have to make. Um, oh, and you know what? Where are my Halloween decorations? I want a cobweb, actually, because I have a funny idea. Uh, and let's see here. Anything else? I don't. Well, what books do I have in here? Uh, Dog's Log. Oh, good memories. Aquafinity and Enchanted Book Thorns 3. I should do something with that, actually. Thorns 3 is not bad at all. I should put that on a diamond chest plate. Quite honestly, that would be fantastic. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and see which wolf is going to be accompanying us on our uh, adventure today. We're not going to take a cat, actually, though, uh, because we're kind of done building. And I left Ragnar over there. Uh, so you guys stay and chill and, and hang out there. Uh, but we are going to be taking one of our wolves. Addison's still over at her academy. Uh, we are going to be taking Basil. Basil, you get to come today. Oops, sign is over here. There we go. And Basil, uh, where are you? There you are. Uh, all right, everyone else doing okay? I promise I'll bring Addison back uh, later today. Basil, let's go. This is going to be great. Uh, I have to just craft the uh, chest with the minecart. Nope, other way around. And then I need another chest. Uh, to make the hopper. This is going to be for the book return. Uh, Basil, are you going out the door? And then I might as well make a couple of signs now uh, as well. Oh, I didn't mean to make 12. I meant to make three. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, Basil, you're so fast. Uh, anyway, uh, if you don't know why Basil's my fastest wolf, uh, she was actually struck by lightning uh quite literally in the episode you can see it was in my house uh and that gave her some super speed i saw you go into the shower dog guard i need to come and fix uh what i've done with ginger just sitting there today i really honestly love seeing all of the dogs uh we can't see them from here i need to fix like the dogs that are just standing still here but i love uh coming onto the world and seeing the dogs just like running around jumping on the agility course uh uh, jumping on the playground. Look at that. Look at Bo on the slide right there. Addison's just watching on. Like, this is this is fun for me. Like, I, I don't know why I've never had the dogs loose before, Basil. But I heard a baby zombie. Oh, Basil! Did you... 
Okay. That, I thought you were on. What mode? Are you not on attack mode? Uh, I don't know where. Oh! He's in the school? It's a chicken jockey! Wait a minute. Is that our chicken jockey? Did he escape from the basement? Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, let's lock him in there. Uh, and hi, sir. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> you want to learn, too. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. Um, but yeah, a lot of, uh, I've seen comments before that are like, why don't you just fence off all of Dogcraft, uh, like the town area, so that dogs can come and go as they please. It's honestly something I never thought about before because we didn't have this many dogs. Um, but I don't know. It kind of scares me like one of them could die or something like it caught in water. Look at Dizzy doing the agility course and Homer and Apple over there. Like this is so much fun. I want the little dogs to be able to do this too. Oh, hello. Hello, Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup with the very high energy. You need to be on the agility course. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Um. Oh, what's your name? What is this bulldog's name? Oh my gosh, honey. Hi, honey. Uh, I need to get their name tags to stick. Hopefully when we update the mod, maybe there'll be a patch for that. Uh, anyway, okay, so I've done just a little bit more work on the library that I wanna show you guys. Um, on the interior, just kind of deciding where the bookcases are going to go once I actually build them. And I see a creeper, Basil. Do you see that creeper? We've gotta take that creeper out. Basil, attack. You must not be set on aggressive, Basil. That's okay. Uh, all right. Oh, Ragnar. Um, I guess. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. Why? It's daytime. Why are you attacking me? Just because you were in shade? Um, Ragnar, you did a good job, buddy. You made it so that the creeper stayed over there in those trees and didn't come and blow up our beautiful library. Ugh. It's just gorgeous. Um, okay, the book return. I think I have, uh, yes, I have the book sign in here. And then I need the spruce wood too. I need to make some planks. Um, probably 12 ought to do it. Uh, let's come over here. Actually, no, let's come into here. Uh, any, any creatures? No? Was there... Oh, okay, I thought that blue block was out of place. I was like, an Enderman has been here. Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> oh wait, there's a skeleton up there, isn't there? Hey, I don't care if you want to read books, okay, Mr. Skeleton. Ooh, you made me shoot an arrow in the library there. Oh, we dropped a bow. Um, okay, I'll come up and get it. So here is the second floor. I have removed the bookcases there and I made them down here. Uh, oh, you're so happy, Ragnar. Um, so I was thinking about it. If this is truly supposed to be a library for dogs, then all of the books need to be on dog level, obviously. So hence the rows of very short bookcases. <laughs> but I think along the walls here I can do books. I haven't quite decided what to do on this back wall yet though. Um, but then there's like little ladders up here. So you can come up here and go on this little thing and we'll put books up here, which I think will be cute. And then obviously there are two more tiers upstairs. Uh, I think that this looks pretty, oh wait, that wasn't the, the grand view I was hoping for. There we go. I think that this looks pretty good. What do you think, Basil? Your tail's wagging furiously, so I think that you like it. Uh, let's make the book return right here, where you will return the books. Uh, let's use my silk touch to break the glass, and then let's put, um, oh, the rail. I forgot about the rail. Okay, how do you make a rail? It's got to be iron and sticks, right? Like a ladder? Can I look this up somehow? I, I feel like such a Minecraft noob because I just haven't made rails in so long. Um, it's got to be something with sticks and iron, right? Let's do like, like that? No. Like that? No. Take off that? Nope. Uh, this is embarrassing. I'll be right back. Oh goodness, it's getting dark. I didn't even realize. 
Uh, I was so close. Uh, it was just completely opposite, which should make sense. It's more iron, less wood. Uh, so it's just like that. And now I get 16. Did I really? I, I should have looked in more chests. I bet I had one. Um, okay, so let's put down the rail uh, here. Oh, no, wait. I don't want it that way. I want it uh, that way. And then let's put down... Uh, I, a lot of people suggested I use the minecart with a chest because it's kind of like a library cart. Uh, so we'll put that there. Oh, it faces the wrong way. Can I not fix that? Is it always going to face that way? I guess that's fine. Uh, and then on this side now, we will put... i got to be careful for mobs. Uh, we'll put our... How do we... Oh, no, wait. I don't think I can connect it to a minecart with a chest. I think I just have to use a regular chest. Because otherwise you'd have to use a minecart with a chest. Am I wrong about this? Anyone that has experimented a lot with minecarts, you'll be able to tell me. Uh, but for now, just to get it working, um, let's put just the chest right here, Basil. And then let's come out here. Oh, we don't have enough lampposts around here. Uh, make sure that there's nothing that's going to come. Uh, and then let's put the hopper right there and the book return sign uh, right there. Does that look good? Oh, that's nice. And then we can build. Come inside, guys. Come inside. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Yes. Oh, Ragnar, you're pretty fast, too. Uh, let's build a little bit of a desk for our future librarian. Um, I think we could probably find a dog to be the librarian. Uh, Madeline and Henri are still apparently out of town. Uh, there we go. And there that's nice little desk that you can welcome to the library would you like to read ow I guess not ow ow basil basil are you in the reading cubby okay that's fine die there we go uh, okay let's close this that looks good we need to add let's add a torch or two maybe um, I think maybe just here and there. Is that centered? Yes. That looks nice. Uh, okay. I think it looks great. We're ready to go. We just need books. <laughs> and then I am still planning on making the cafe up at the top. I'll show you guys what I've done in that regard. Uh, actually, it might not be that safe. Let's sit, um, let's sit Ragnar down here. Here, Ragnar, sit on a little story time rug pad right there you can you can be there for story time we'll do story time at the end of the episode um okay let's go ahead and oh yeah we need some lampposts how can we go up here we can come up here to the treehouse we can sleep there and then i can also show you um what i did up here which wasn't really much of anything in fact i started it and then i was like you know what i think i need to i think i need to hold off on this for just a little bit i started thinking okay well i'm gonna make the cafe oh there's a creeper and a skeleton there on the swimming pool why get out of dogcraft you are not welcome here and you pool is closed summer's over come on and die there we go uh, okay, let's sleep here before tons of things spawn in. I almost fell off there in our world. Um, sleep. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking about building the cafe, but then I thought, you know what? This is a whole separate build, and I'm not done with the library yet. Um, so there it is. It's just fenced off. Die, zombie. Can I jump over to there? Where's the... Oh, it's right underneath us. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to try this. Yes! <laughs> that was epic! Uh, did you see that? What did you think of that, skeleton? Oh, you caught me on fire! Why? Oh, okay, so I put fencing here. So we could do like a patio here that overlooks... Oh, zombie in the corn maze. Uh, that overlooks the world. Uh, but then I'm thinking like, do I want it to be attached to the library or do we just want it to be like up here? Maybe it should be built into the mountain there, but then this is not a very good uh, like place for a coffee shop in Dogcraft. Like unless we put like a staircase up here or something. We've never really thought about building up here. Um, I don't know. Oh, Basil? Did you just take fall damage? I need to get you the... Ah! Are you okay, Basil? I knew we should have brought Ragnar with us. Okay. Well, that's fine. This is why we don't come up here very often. I'll have to put all this back together. Uh, for now, let's make it so I don't want this tree to despawn. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to work on this in another episode. But I do think I want to um, get all of the rest of the dogs from the bark and put them loose in the um the back area there it just kind of scares me like they can still go to their beds if they want to but it scares me to let them loose out here 
Uh, because they could, like, go into the waterfall there or something and drown. I don't know. Maybe they need swimming lessons. <laughs> uh, but I think for now... Hello, dog guard. I think for now we could definitely let them all loose. Uh, and in fact, I guess we don't even have to leave them. We can just open all the gates and then open these gates because there's no other way that they can get out. So I don't think so, at least. So, all right, Pudgy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and free all of the dogs. All right, all of the dogs have been freed. I've let them go. Goodbye. I'm just kidding, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're just gonna be able to like explore during the day and then come back to their beds at night. But I still do think it might be a good idea to separate large dogs and small dogs. Like maybe have a designated small dog play area and then a big dog play area. Because I could see like, oh gosh, Yes, I could see little Pixel getting trampled by Dizzy. Oh no! It just happened! Are you okay, Pixel? Are you okay? Are you alright, sweetie? Okay, I hope so. Uh, oh goodness. Alright, um, we should pick some of them, though, to bring over to the library to, like, check it out, I think. Yes, girl! Let's pick a few dogs. I think I'm gonna need to go get some more leashes from the bark, obviously. Um, uh, but let's pick a few dogs to go over to... to story time at the library! Dog guard, we've got a library! You can probably get a book, uh, a library card as well, and then you can check out books. Maybe you'll find that you like reading books just as much as you like showering. Uh, who am I kidding? Oh my goodness, my inventory is beyond full. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, who should we take? Let's take some of you guys. Uh, let's see here. Let me just get a bunch of leashes here. Okay, we can pick six dogs to take. So, let's see here. You can come. Uh, no, oh, oh. Okay, Dobby doesn't want to go to the library. Um, Ginger, our newest dog in dog craft. You can come. Who else wants to go to the library? Um, let's see here. Uh, how about Georgette? How about you? And let's also bring... Should we bring... Do you want to go? Do you want to go, Rex? Um, Dizzy? Dizzy, why don't you come? Uh, Collies are really smart, so you probably will love the library. And, oh wait, did I get you, Dizzy? Yes, I got you. Uh, Rex, please, come, come, come on. Uh, where are all the littler dogs? Oh, they're in the little play area. This is so cute. Um, Pixel, do you want to go to the library? Pixel? Oh, gosh. It's too hard. Oh, I think it's getting dark. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's take, let's just take you guys. Let's take, um, oh, come on, uh, Noodle. Noodle, do you want to go? There you go. And one last dog. Who wants to come? How about you, Angus? Come on. Yes, let's go. I just realized I forgot to do what I wanted to do with the cobweb, which is I wanted to put a book section that was titled something like How to Be Nice to Cats, and then have the cobweb, which shows like no one ever checks out those books. All right, you guys are our, uh, our readers that are going to get to uh, test out the library first. Are you so excited? Ah, this is fantastic. Um, okay, now listen. There will be books in the future. I'm going to like go raid a village or something and get more books, I promise. I wish I could just go get books um, from Bookcraft because I've got like a bajillion bookcases there. Okay, come on in, come on in, come on in before it gets dark. Come on in before it gets dark. Ah! Miss Reigns a lot! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Bookcraft! Uh, I know, I know. I haven't, I haven't been in Bookcraft for a while. This is it's so great to see you! It's fantastic to see you! <gasps> Tip Willow! You're here! <gasps> Ms. Reads a lot! The library! You brought books! This is incredible! 
Oh my gosh, you guys! There's books everywhere! This is so amazing! Oh, how fantastic! Oh gosh. Uh, the staircase is a little bit treacherous. What do you have? Okay, pages, picks, mutt mysteries, uh, canine crime. Oh gosh. Uh, bookcraft books, poppy books. <gasps> September Storytime Book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Bone by J.K. Growling. <gasps> Ms. Reads a lot. I love it! Oh my gosh, this is perfect! Look, look at how happy the dogs are! They can check out books! Do you like it here? I mean, I am gonna come back to Bookcraft, I promise, but, you know, seeing as you don't really have much to do at the station, I think it's great if you work here, like, part-time. <gasps> Yay! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dog Craft. I will see you next time, but until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. You missed me, didn't you?